Hopefully that'll happen. Then. There's one. All right. Don't eat that. Don't eat the golf ball either. Pretty fish. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, it is Thursday, February 16th, out on Lake Conroe again. Just got back out of Phoenix, Arizona from a job. Wanted to go fishing. It's looking at the weather. It's been in the mid-70s, almost up to 80. So I'm like, okay, that water temperature's coming up. Fishing ought to be really good. Well, of course, right now it's 51 degrees. We got a north-northwestern wind at 15 miles an hour. I'm here in my neighborhood launch. I'm probably gonna stay on this side to try to stay out of the wind as much as possible, but I gotta find out what the water temperature is, then we can figure out if today's gonna be a make or break type day, because maybe they haven't moved off, but I'm thinking these fish should be up on some beds, or starting to move there. If not, they shouldn't have moved too far back. I've got some big lures tied on, some really big lures for me personally tied on. They may come into play, I don't know. We're just gonna see if we can catch some. You guys stay tuned. Hope you enjoy the show. Come on. All right, guys, check this out. Got a new seat cushion off Amazon. Gonna try this one out. That one I ordered from Walmart didn't work out. Set me up too high. Felt a little unstable, so gonna try that one. <sighs> yeah. We'll see, I don't know, I think yesterday I ought to have done good, but today I don't, I don't think so, but we'll see. Really? Wow, okay. I was speaking to those two young men there and yesterday he said he revived a seven pounder with a shad stuck in his throat. So that could be pretty promising for the big swim bait bite, but we'll see. That wind is ripping. I'm not pedaling that hard. I'm at least going 15, 16 miles per hour. Well, we're showing 56 degrees, so the water temperature has not warmed up much since the last time I went fishing out in the boat, and it hasn't dropped, so I don't know. We'll see. Probably gonna have the lake to myself today, minus those two guys we just talked to. The wind's probably destroying my audio right now, but I got a new fishing shirt and it's super awesome i just got it in a couple days ago i ordered it off amazon because i've been looking for a uh, shirt that has everything and when i say everything i mean a, a hoodie a built-in buff long sleeve but breathable and i came across this one shirt made by bass dash i'll leave a link below but it fits really well and especially for a bigger person i got a 2x i'm six foot three 250 pounds 2x fits perfect and the buff itself has a mesh right here. So there's no problems breathing whatsoever. And it fits really nice and tight. The material feels great. And like I said, it's got a, it's got a built-in hoodie, built-in buff, long sleeves. If it wasn't so cold, I wouldn't have this jacket on. And uh, I'd do a pose for you. But if you guys are interested in a shirt like this, check them out on Amazon. They were on sale for 20 bucks a piece. So I'm gonna pick up a couple more uh definitely worth twenty dollars for sure so new shirt new seat cushion one other thing i finally did after all these years was cut those stupid tabs off the pedal so it wouldn't catch my net so just took a hacksaw cut them off i don't know why it took me so long to do it I actually took my drive apart re-greased everything straightened out the uh fin mast next thing is to order some new fins I've plastic welded these so many times, I don't think I can do it anymore. They're just about worn out. Besides rewiring the hummingbird, I gotta put a new cord on my seat back. Y'all saw that video where I about fell out of the kayak and broke my backrest. That was fun. Still a few more things to do, but kayak looks good. Still clean. Hadn't been fishing in it much in the last couple of weeks. All right, let's take a look at some of those big lures I got tied on that I probably won't catch anything on today, but this is a 
Savage Gear Bluegill. This is a five inch or four and a half inch, maybe five inch. Super nice bait, great action. We'll see if it catches anything. Beautiful color though. I mean, that's pretty dead gum realistic. It's a line through bait. I got a treble tied on on the bottom. You can have it on the top or bottom. Great spawn bait. I'd love to. I'd love to sight fish with this lure. That's one thing I have not done yet. Is is sight fish throwing this big lure? I'd love to see how they react to it. Hopefully that'll happen this year. Okay, big bait number two. There you go. That's a big bait. This bait was given to me, and I'm sure you guys know what it is. When you find out, let me know. It says boom boom. Maybe it's the boom boom shad or something like that. I don't know. It looks familiar. Seems like I've seen a bait that looks like this in Academy. Massive hook, underspin. Yeah, we'll see. I've really never thrown it before. Now, a lure that I have caught tons of fish on is this right here. The Shine Glide 135. Now this is a great lure. Caught a lot of fish at night using this right here. And I actually just noticed that the bait has cracked. Can you guys see that? I don't know if that's just the crack in the paint or the whole lure is cracking. Regardless, it's a great lure, crack or no crack. If it swims right, it'll catch fish. And this one definitely catches fish, I know for sure. So we'll be throwing this lure today a lot, I think. If I can't get bit on any of those lures, then we'll go to more of the traditional stuff, plastics, Texas rigs and wacky rigs square bills stuff of that nature but i do want to i do want to practice throwing these bigger swim baits because it seems like that's that's the future of bass fishing not that it's solely going to rely on big big lures but you think about the massive fish largemouth black bass that people are catching right now using live imaging and bigger lures it's incredible i believe if you don't learn that you're going to be behind the rest of the group. I'm not saying solely rely on that technique, but I do believe it's something every serious bass angler should attempt to perfect. If you watch Millican fishing, the guy literally almost does not get excited over catching seven and eight pounders anymore. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I get excited over every fish I catch just about. No, I'll take that back. I know I do. I love fishing and I'm sure he does too. But when you're catching that many fish of that size i guess you know he he's thinking okay well i need 10 pounders now i'm catching seven and eights i need 10 pounders i'm starting at the bottom hey give me some five pounders let me get confidence in some smaller fish and work my way up thursday tomorrow i'll be getting a tackle warehouse order in and it's a swim bait rod and i can't wait to share that swim bait rod with you guys again this is me coming in as a beginner i I'm not going to spend a lot of money into into this swim bait stuff. Probably my famous last words there, but I want to get into it, see if it's something that I'm going to enjoy doing. And from what I've researched, this rod that I ordered that is specific for big swim bait fishing is really good. And the best part about it is it's only $100. So if this is a great rod, then I'm going to share it on the channel and hopefully it'll help you guys to get into it without breaking the bank for sure. So I'm not far from where I launched. I'm just to the cove of the west of the launch. And if you look on the map, this is one of the few areas off of Lake Conroe that has a slough on the south end that has two deep Ys. This Y's off right here. So my thought is there could be fish that have pushed back right here at this Y. It's not really a defined point, but I guess you could consider it a secondary point. In my mind, there should be some fish back here, if not right here in this, this particular area. I could be completely wrong about that, but that's my thought process going into this spot. And again, I didn't want to deviate too far from the launch with the wind. Fishing could be terrible today, but the water looks like it's came up on the bulkhead for sure. But my water temperature is steadily declining 56.6. Not too bad, but we'll see what happens when we get to the back here. If I ever get there, going into the wind, I'm only doing about 2.7 miles per hour with this motor. But that's gonna change, guys, hopefully soon. That's gonna change. Well, before we get to the spot, guys, I just wanna take this moment to bless all of you and ask God to watch over everyone who is watching this show. Again, as you know, I'm talking about God in each, each of my videos and giving the glory to Him to have this opportunity to 
go fishing with you guys and share the word of God and just enjoy God's beautiful earth and all it has to offer. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope this year is treating you good. Give all your problems to the man upstairs, guys, and trust in him. He'll do the rest. Just have your faith. You will live your life abundantly. Guys, we've really been growing the channel. Y'all guys have been liking it up. I really appreciate it. The channel is growing. We're spreading the word and we're catching some fish and we're learning how to catch fish in the process. And I just, it's so inspiring. And everything you guys are doing to help me out, I just 100% appreciate. So you guys keep it up. I'm trying to post more. I'm working two other jobs and trying to do this at the same time. So I stay pretty busy, but I'm trying to do this maybe eventually full time one day. It's happening guys. And again, just want to say thank you. Let's get to fishing. All right, I'm going to start off with the Savage Gear Shine Glide 135. Hopefully, she's running good. It has me a little concerned that has me a little concerned that it's not. Uh, it's got that crack in it, but well, we can turn the sonar pinging off. Don't really need it around here. But I do think I will be standing up to fish this. So you're going to have to move there. Uh, maybe do you like that? Yeah, that'll work. Well, our water temperature warmed up to 59.3 back here, so that's a good sign. Haven't got bit on the shine glide. Let's try. I'm seeing fish right off the end of this dock here. Don't know what they are, but I'm going to throw a square bill just to see what happens. But this wind is getting old mighty quick, so I'm probably going to be moving here shortly. I had a fish chasing. Huh, maybe that was him. There's one. All right. I saw him on the screen. Nice. Well, that right there is definitely a mega live fish, guys. That fish was literally hovering, not relating to anything, just chilling. Oh, he got stuck twice. There we go. Nice size belly on that fish. Okay guys, fish number one on a square bill, not a big swim bait, of course. It's not a bad one. Let's see what she measures. Uh, about 15 inches, 15, yeah, 15. Not a keeper. Hang on. Let's let them go. Yep, I saw that fish right on the graph, so he was just chilling. Just hovering in about five feet of water. I guess because it's a little bit warmer. We're up to 59.4 degrees now. I'm seeing some fish on the bottom. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Well, as expected, it's going to be a slow day, I believe. The temperature just keeps falling and falling and falling. It's getting pretty chimp chilly out here not not water temperature my water temperature is going up as i get back in the shallower water but the air temperature is dropping don't know how much of an effect that's going to have on them but so far we only got one there's one what we got oh we got a bass we got a bass guys we swapped up the tactics and tied on a tiny crappie jig because it looked like I had seen some crappie, but I couldn't get them to bite, so I'm just drifting down the docks here. Stuck that one good. Drifting down the docks and just vertical jigging right beside them. Yeah, I think that's a little spotted bass. Pretty fish. Well, we got two fish, guys. And they ain't big. Neither one of them would con be considered a keeper on Lake Conroe. But we're getting back here, or it's calmer. Water's dirtier. The water temperature is warmer. Oh, I'm getting pretty cold, man. We're over 60 degree water temps back here. That's good. <laughs> Guys, it is getting really cold. And I'm not catching any fish. Oh, shoot, that is a fish. What kind of fish? I don't know. That was the weirdest bite ever. What is this? Is it foul hooked? Oh, <laughs> dude. All right, well, 
Wow. My bait caught a big bait. Maybe I should be throwing big swim baits. I was wondering, that was the weirdest fight ever. Woo! <laughs> what in the world? I must have literally just drug my square bill over its back. Well, we got what? Two bass and one shed. You shouldn't eat that. Don't eat that. Don't eat the golf ball either. You're gonna fall in. Don't fall in. Well, since I'm catching them like crazy, I might as well throw a big swim bait. Uh, honestly, I just hadn't thrown them in a while. I just kind of want to see the action, how the rod handles this bluegill because I've never thrown it on this rod before. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I took the time to rig them all up, so might as well throw it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's throw the other one. Oh, guys, I'm getting really close to ending this fishing trip. This wind is ripping and I am freezing. Not the best day to wear uh, a breathable fishing shirt that I was bragging about earlier, but I still like the shirt, but gosh, dog, it's cold. Well, I'm just gonna throw this big swim bait on the way out toward the main lake. Water temperature's getting cooler and cooler, so it's not good, but gotta try something different. I'm going so fast, I don't hardly have time to cast. Guys, that's going to wrap up this video. That wind has really kicked up. I'm getting pretty cold, and the fish seem to be not biting, as you know. We caught a few. We had a good time. Hey, we're out on the water enjoying it, kayaking around. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. You guys make sure to check out some of my other videos. I think you'll enjoy them as well. And if you do, consider subscribing to my channel. You guys take care. God bless. And we'll catch you on the next episode. Come on. Right to Tony's <laughs> channel. He's got a lot of information that you got to just check it out for your own eyes. You know, cool. he's a good man. He knows a lot of knowledge. So Appreciate it, man. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Gabriel. Take, take it, it easy, man. You never know who you're going to meet on or off the water. Mr. Gabriel gave me some lures here to try out. I know they're going to catch fish. That's for sure. But how many and how big is the question? We'll find out on the next episode. Gabriel, pleasure meeting you, buddy. You guys, that's it. I'm out of here.